And we know what happened in 2016. You know, there was a lot of calls about interference, specifically Russian interference in, you know, the Democratic campaigns. Now, I just wonder, Senator Warner just said, you know, in the last week that he's worried about this, as we've heard, you know, Putin make comments about the election and which president he'd rather be in office. And you've you've heard other things. You've heard about scam robocalls, you know, calling constituents for Biden. What do you make about all of this sort of external noise that's sort of happening? Well, I, I think the, let's let's pull different pieces of this out. One one aspect of this is I think as voters, all of us need to be increasingly cognizant of the ways AI is making it ever easier to uh, fake things. So we have the the robocalls uh, sounding like Biden in New Hampshire, and uh, those have ultimately been traced back to someone connected with. Uh, the campaign of one of uh, Biden's Democratic opponents in in New Hampshire. The, uh, the the technology continues to make it easier to fake things. Sometimes those fakes are kind of cute. A while ago, there was uh, something going the rounds on uh, various social media platforms of these AI faked images of Joe Biden and Donald Trump uh, harmoniously having a picnic together and other other sorts of things. Right? You can fake sort of cute things, but you can also fake things that aren't so cute. And so as voters, we have to be really careful about that. It, it, it increases the challenges of figuring out what's real and what's not in, uh, in a campaign environment. Now, uh, foreign actors interference. So I, I would expect uh, the United States election is hugely consequential for the world. Uh, and there are real divisions uh, in US Politics over foreign policy, Trump and Biden represent different visions for the way the U.S. will conduct itself in world affairs. And so uh, various people uh, and leaders and governments around the world, I think, will try to influence what happens. And you know that can take a variety of forms. Biden, uh, Putin claims that Biden is his preference to win the election. Is that real or not? Uh, is it an effort to boost Trump? In fact, uh, you know, there, that's probably just the beginning of the arguments over who is back, who, what foreign leaders are backing what uh, candidates, uh, and we'll see what kinds of efforts are undertaken. Whether we have uh, efforts to use advertising and uh, other uh, tools to manipulate the uh, political discussion in the United States in this election. Uh, other other sorts of strategies. I, I'd expect there's, there'll be some of that uh, that that gets tried as this uh, process goes forward. 